Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. So glad you're here today. I am sharing with you 10 tips to help you to get ready for back to school. Oh, I love this tip. Okay, you know as a mom, getting ready for back to school could be really hectic and crazy. You have to do shopping and get the kids ready and there's just so much. So I'm gonna share 10 tips that I do to get ready for back to school. Okay, number one, which I think is really important, is get them excited. Or at least get them like thinking about back to school so they can prepare their little minds. So create like a back to school countdown. I love doing this. You can do this in many, many different ways. I like the good old cardstock, take the paper, make the ring so they can snap it off. Or you can do a candy countdown. Any way you want to do it, look on Pinterest. Pinterest is flooded with countdowns. But I think getting them excited and seeing how many days are left until school and just build up that anticipation just to get them excited and ready to go. Also, with this, it's good to talk about school, especially with your kindergartners and first graders, so they can understand, like, this is what's happening, this is what's coming up, so they're not completely in shock when the time comes. Okay, number two is go to bed early and get up early. I try to get my kids on their back to school schedule, their sleep schedule, at least two weeks before school starts. They start getting ready and going to bed at their school time, which is about 8.30. I would like them in their beds laying down. So we start the process at 7.30 to get them ready for bed. Mom! The sun is still out! This year, I have to wake up my kids a little bit earlier than usual because they're starting school earlier this year than they did last year. So I need to start waking them up at that time. They don't have to get ready for the day, but I want them up and at least moving, get out of their beds, move to the couch, so their bodies are used to waking up at that early time. Okay, number three is routines. Routines are so important. When my kids are not on routine, they do not function well. It's not pretty here. I like having my kids on a morning and night routine just like I have. Okay, number four, go through their school clothes. My kids wear uniforms to school, so at the end of the year, I go through all their uniforms. What isn't fitting them, what's kind of gotten ruined that we can pitch or donate. A few weeks before school starts, I start school shopping. So I have them try on again the clothes that I have left for them to see if, how much they've grown out of it from the summer. And then I just write down everything that I need for them, how many more shirts or pants or skirts do they need for back to school. That way when the sales come, I, d I know exactly what I need, I can hurry and shop for them. Okay, number five is having a launch pad. I do have a video going in full depth of what my launch pad is and I'll leave the link for you. But basically it's an area of the home where they put their shoes, their coats, and their backpacks. So they know that's where they go when they're done with them and that's where they go to pick them up and leave the house. It just makes leaving the house for school so much faster and easier. Number six, create a homework station. Oh, I can't tell you how much I love this. I have done this for a few years now and I can't go back to not having one. Basically it's an area of your home where you keep crayons and pencils and pens and erasers and scissors and markers and paper and everything they need to do their homework. So everything is kind of in one spot. I do have a course, a video on how I created mine down below, but you don't have to go huge on a homework station. You can actually, I've seen where someone took on the back of their door, they put one of those shoe hanging organizers that you put, you know, your shoes in. They took that and put all their school supplies in there. Their crayons, their markers, post-it notes, everything in there. So if you don't have any space, you could hang it on the back of the door. Love that. Also, you could grab a little caddy from Walmart or the Dollar Tree and put all that in pick it up, move it to the table, and have everything they need there to do their homework. Okay, get ready for home lunches. If you pack your kids lunch for school, go through and make sure you have enough of the Tupperwares or bins, um, thermoses, lunch boxes. Make sure um, whatever you used last year that you wanna use again is working well. You have everything you need to get ready for back to school. Okay, I got this tip from my friend Tiffany from Life is Five, her link is below. She did a back to school video and this tip blew my mind. Never even thought about it before which I'm totally gonna do this year. Go look up on your kid's school website and see when they serve lunch for that grade. And then during the summer, the few weeks that you're prepping for back to school, feed them lunch at that time. 
That way their little bodies get used to eating lunch at that time and can acclimate to it. Because let me tell you, this is so smart because when my kids get home from school, they're starving. Or they're, they said they were starving up to lunch and that they ate some of their lunch during their first recess because they were so hungry. So I'm like, oh, I love this tip. Especially if their lunch is around 11 o'clock, they can get really hungry by the time they get home from school. So I like to leave also um, some treats in their backpack, some granola bars and like an applesauce pouch, something or trail mix, something to have in their backpack for when they're on their way home from school because they get so hungry. Okay, next tip I have for you is having a school binder. This has helped me a lot, keeping all the school papers, school information, all in one spot. But basically, it keeps track of the Bell schedules. I have their schedules, a copy of their, like my older kids that are in high school and junior high, I have a copy of their schedule in there as well, so if I need to dismiss them, I know where they are. Anything that is about their teacher and their class, all in there. So that is super helpful. And when Derek and I go out of town and say his mom and dad are watching the kids, I hand them the binder as well. I put um, medical information in that binder for each of the kids and that way they have that information with our insurance card and everything about school in there. So when they need to go pick up the kids and um, they know all the bell schedules, they know where they're at as well. It's been so handy. And lastly, the Family Command Center. Basically, it's the hub of information for your family. So on the side of my fridge is where I keep our Family Command Center. So I wanted a spot where we can have a calendar so we can see what everyone is doing and people can add to it as well as things come up. Then I found these magnetic whiteboards actually at Hobby Lobby. So one has the kids zones. This is how they do chores. I'll have a link below. We just switch the names. We rotate the names at the end of the week so there's no fighting all the names just move down the list and this is the zone that they have to take care of so they see what their what their chores are for the week this whiteboard we use for messages and just fun quotes Jonah loves leaving quotes then we have our menu board I could see what's coming up for dinner the kids can see we pick our meals they help pick their meals then of course the homework station. Then above our launch pad, I have a spot for all the keys when we come into the house. That's where the keys go and any outgoing mail goes into that basket. Well, those are my 10 back to school tips. I hope you found them helpful. And if you do anything like this and tweak it a little bit, please leave what you do down below so we can all learn from one another. Thanks so much for joining me today and don't forget to click my face up above to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and check out these videos I have for you here. Thanks so much, and we will see you soon. Bye. I feel like something is stalking me. Watching me. I'm a stalker. I like it a lot. Stalk you all day long.